dignitaries gathered here. Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Sri Piyush Goelji. Chairman of Malabar Group, Sri M.P. Ahmed. Vice Chairman Abdul Salam, Group Executive Director Nishat A.K. Sonak Parikh from Mahindra Brothers. And all the dignitaries from GJPC, GJC, and uh, BDB, our industry partners, vendors, media friends, and the teachers, the colleagues, all the members from the group and well wishers. A warm welcome to all. It is indeed a great pleasure for us to have all of us, all of you here gathered for this event. Malabar Group, since its inception, we have decided that we set aside a certain percentage of our net profit for CSR activities. And since then, till now, we are continuing that. It is not only a policy for one year or two years in Malabar, we have made it a written rule that even after generation also, 5% of the net profit should be kept aside for the CSR activities. It has to be spent every year. And the main CSR activities we are doing, one is Hunger Free World Project, that is providing daily meals in India, various cities of India, and uh, in Zambia, where the people in the streets or the people who are not getting one meal in a day, we are trying to provide a meal for them. And also through micro learning centers, the students who study there, we provide uh, food for them also. So we are trying to a humble contribution from Malabar side that Whatever beginning we are able to do, we were all over the years, we have started uh, some years back and we are every year, year on year, we are increasing the number of meals distributed in every year. This year we'll be distributing in India and uh, abroad put together 1.8 crores meals in the whole year. And the other major project is the scholarship we are providing. There are many girl students after 10th standard, they are unable to go for higher studies. So we select them through government colleges and other uh, colleges where the underprivileged students are there. And we try to help them to improve their education, develop them, you know, plus one and plus two. So the last uh, few years, since 2007 onwards, we are trying to support these girl students. And this year we are going to announce uh, this year's uh, scholarships also. It is not a CSR spending and provision what we are doing. It has become a part of the culture of Malabar. Our chairman, visionary leader, there is no single meeting he doesn't talk about the CSR. Every meeting in the business meeting or water meeting, chairman stress on the CSR and bring that culture to every member of Malabar group. And we also have decided that 25,000 people working in Malabar, two days of uh, uh, their total in a year, two days they have to contribute for uh, CSR, not in kind or not in money, but they have to participate in the CSR program. We do. So we want to bring that culture into the company and continue that culture. That is what we are doing. And uh, today we are very proud that it has become the responsibility of every member of Malabar. The reason we are doing this event today in Mumbai is nothing because of the Honorable Minister Shri Piyu. We wanted Yush Goelji to announce this year's scholarship program mainly because of the confidence he has given to the whole industry and for us with various FTAs making hallmarking mandatory and the government of India with new policies, new budget, reducing import duty focusing on improving the way of doing business, formalizing the business, unorganized to organized. So it is a very positive moment for all of us. And when, whenever we met uh, the minister in various forums or whenever we talk, the kind of confidence he gave, go ahead, India is growing. The government is focusing on this industry or the whole country. So the kind of confidence we have. 
So we have investing in retail, manufacturing, whatever it is. That confidence is given by uh, the whole government and especially our Honorable Minister Piyush Goenji. So that is very important for any business, the confidence in investing when these kind of uh, words are, and actions are coming. So it is my duty to welcome our Honorable Minister of Industry, Commerce and Industry, Sri Puyush Gualji, for this event to announce this scholarship. I request all of you to give a big round of applause for the whole industry. Vice Chairman Sri Abdul Salam KP, Sri Asher O MD Operations, Shonak Bhai from Mahindra Brothers, Nand Kumar, CFO, all the distinguished colleagues who have gathered here to celebrate the 25 years journey of Malabar Group and their commitment to society. A very, very warm welcome to all of you on this auspicious occasion. It's truly a matter of great satisfaction that the Malabar Group which runs now 365 different outlets and nearly 140 out of these are out of the country, are all over the world. In fact, I was in Sydney three days back and I was told there's a Malabar outlet in Sydney also. Has redeemed the pledge that they made to the people of India that they will, and now of course internationally also with their foray into Zambia, that they would like to contribute and give back to society. And I'm indeed delighted that while the official CSR requirement is only 2%, but they have Suomoto decided that they will contribute 5% to society and for good works. And this year alone, that amount will be nearly 100 crore rupees. I don't know how many of you recognize it, but this is not just about giving a scholarship. It is to ignite the aspiration of our young sisters, our daughters, many of whom may not have the privilege to get a quality education. Many of whom may get education, but when they may not be employable, their skills may not be suitable for the requirement of the job. I think the effort that this group coming out of Calicut in Kerala and making India proud across the world has attempted to do is to give our beloved daughters and we just celebrated Daughters Day on 22nd of September, barely five days ago. It is to give our daughters, our young children, our girl child, a better future, a future of self-respect, a future to stand on their own feet, a future to be independent, a future to contribute back to society. And when I see all these young girls who have made a mark for themselves in, in their chosen field, this me tremendous satisfaction. And uh, I think we have so many instances where uh, the girl children have, thanks to good education, made India proud of their achievements. The most recent was the video of the golden siblings, Pragnanda and Vaishali, with their proud mother after the success in uh, winning the historic chess Olympiad gold. It was really a moving sight to see how our young children make us proud of their achievements, how they are able to stand on their own feet and uh, contribute to this development journey in this country. Chairman Sahib, don't do the language of the language. 
भाषा तो इस देश की डाइवर्सिटी और हमारी शान है जब आपने मलयालम पे बोला तो मुझे और ज्यादा आनंद आया और बहन ने भी बहुत अच्छी तरह उसको ट्रांसलेट किया पर हम सबको गर्व है अपनी अपनी भाषा पे अपनी अपनी मातृभाषा में और जब आपने मलयालम में अपनी बात रखी और हमें इतनी सारी जानकारियां दी आपने अभी तक कितने बच्चों को पढ़ाया है आपने किस प्रकार से करीब करीब लाखों की संख्या में मैं अभी अभी देख रहा था एक करोड़ बाईस लाख मुफ्त में आपने लोगों को भोजन दिया है एक करोड़ बाईस लाख मील के पैकेजेस छोटी उपलब्धि नहीं है सत्तर से अधिक शहरों में आपका काम है जाम्बिया में आपका काम है और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि अगर हम ये सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स पे सभी लोग फोकस करें जिसमें भुखमरी भी खत्म हो जाएगी वी हैव टू एलिमिनेट हंगर where we have to give skills to our young children so that they become employable everybody has an opportunity to work if we ensure 100% literacy that every child gets an opportunity to study well i'm sure india will become a developed nation vikasit bharat 2047 ये कोई सिर्फ सपना नहीं है ये 140 करोड़ देशवासियों का संकल्प है इट इज आवर कमिटमेंट इट इज आवर रिजॉल्व वी हैव टू डू इट एंड वेन आई सी द एंथुजियाजम ऑफ डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स मोस्ट पर्टिकुलरली द जेम एंड ज्वेलरी सेक्टर आई हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो डाउट इन माई माइंड दैट टुगेदर वी विल मेक इंडिया डिवेलप नेशन friends uh, i was just now told by the managing director that they are also planning to launch free meals at shatabdi hospital in kandivli thank you very much uh, chairman and the entire team shatabdi hospital is a government bmc hospital in kandivli where very poor patients come for treatment and very often the poor patient is accompanied by family members and it's very difficult for them to manage the patient go out and manage their meals also very expensive a service like this will truly help the patients and help their families help them through the treatment process aur mujhe pura vishwas hai ke is prakar ke aapke initiatives अलग अलग जगहों पे देश के अलग अलग शहरों में अच्छा काम करेंगे लोगों को सुविधा देंगे वैसे आज वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म डे भी है और पर्यटन टूरिज्म की संभावनाएं आपके क्षेत्र के साथ भी जुड़ी हुई हैं जब आप तो 140 स्टोर दुनिया में चलाते हैं तो मेरा तो आपसे ये भी अनुरोध रहेगा आई रिक्वेस्ट यू If in these one forty stores, you can also keep brochures of India. If you can also keep brochures of God's own country. If you can also keep brochures of incredible India, all parts of India. It will also be a marketing tool for your two hundred and forty five store, two hundred and twenty five stores in India, which are spread all over the country. you can show the forts of rajasthan you can show the beautiful destinations that we have in maharashtra elora janta caves you can show the canary caves right next to where we are in uh, sanjay gandhi national park in burivli you can show the beaches of sindhudurg ratnagiri goa uh, kerala Tamil Nadu all the temples of Tamil Nadu Mallarpuram and all those uh, beautiful very fine places which can attract tourists from all over the world you can show the Taj Mahal so i would urge you to consider making the 140 outlets 
as centers to promote tourism in India. Once you will start, then I can request all the others who have showrooms all over the world also to do. In fact, I would urge the German Jewelry Council to seriously consider how your business, which is full of beautiful jewelry pieces, beautiful artwork, beautiful designed material, how that and tourism can be combined, which will support both. Tourists will come and spend money on what you are producing. And now, as Chairman rightly said, with the gold duty reduced to only 6%, 9% reduction from 15 to 6%, <laughs> a demand you used to raise in almost every meeting I had with all of you. And I'm told the business is shot up after that. Business has gone up like anything. Now our sisters will not have a problem for their Mangal Sutra, I think. And you can have heavier Mangal Sutra. <laughs> so let us uh, work together to promote the India story. I have one or two small suggestions. One is all the girls whom you are training or who you, whom you are giving scholarship and helping them in their uh, study, I would assume that they will come from the less privileged section of society. If possible, handle them through their education. Once you adopt a child, then throughout, not that for one year, two years, you have given them support and it's over. And if possible, don't make it just a degree course or a diploma course, they've got education and finish. If we can do skill development simultaneously, so that at the end of their education, when they become adult, they also have a particular skill in which their job becomes assured. And maybe you can even develop skills which is related to your business. It can be retail stores, it can be accounting for your back offices, it can be the hallmarking of your jewellery, designing of your jewellery, anything. That you will do vocational guidance and you will figure out what is the interest of the girl child. Now, if we can simultaneously with our CSR, this is good for your own business also. But the important point is you will be creating a talent pool of educated and skilled both. And they will then help you grow from 365 stores to 1,000 stores. Because ultimately, God also is watching people who are doing good work. And God's blessings are always showered. Bhagwan ka, Ishwar ka, jo bhi dharam mein koi bhi vishwas kare. Ab Bharat puri tarike se ek ho gaya hai. हम सबको मिलके काम करना और हम सब मिलके जब काम करेंगे तो हम किसी भी धर्म को मानते हो जो भगवान का आशीर्वाद ईश्वर का आशीर्वाद जीसस का आशीर्वाद हो प्रोफेट मोहम्मद का आशीर्वाद हो सब आशीर्वाद मिलके भारत को एक समृद्ध देश प्रॉस्पेरस देश बनाएंगे और अगर हम सब ने ये तय कर लिया कि हम हमारी बेटियों के लिए विशेष कुछ ना कुछ एक्स्ट्रा करेंगे और हमारी बेटियों को एक अच्छा भविष्य मिल गया तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत भारत को समृद्ध और विकसित होने से रोक नहीं पाएगी प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी स्वयं हमारी बेटियों को अच्छी शिक्षा मिले उनका भविष्य अच्छा बने वो भारत की अर्थव्यवस्था में भी योगदान दे पाए वो अपने पाँव पे खड़े हो सके दूसरों पे निर्भर ना हो उसके लिए प्रतिबद्ध है उसके लिए लगभग जीवन भर उन्होंने विशेष कार्य किया है यहाँ पे किरेट भाई कॉलिन वगैरह है उनको पता है कि गुजरात में कैसे प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी अलग अलग जब से वो उन्होंने अपना जीवन का सामाजिक जीवन शुरू किया फिर राजनीतिक जीवन लगभग शुरू से उनको विशेष हमारी बेटियों के ऊपर कैसे उनका उज्ज्वल भविष्य बनाए प्रॉस्पर प्रॉस्परस फ्यूचर बनाए वो उनकी एक 
पर्सनल कमिटमेंट और उसके लिए उन्होंने काम भी बहुत किया है मेरा पूरा विश्वास है कि आप जैसे सहयोग आप जैसे बड़े उद्योग चलाने वाले और हमारे जेम एंड ज्वेलरी सेक्शन में तो तानवीर प्रवृत्ति बहुत लोगों में और होल सेक्टर इज फुल ऑफ फिलानथ्रोपिक पीपल आई थिंक इफ ऑल ऑफ अस कलेक्टिवली मेक दिस आर मिशन ऑन गर्ल चाइल्ड एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ गर्ल चाइल्ड टू सो दैट दे कैन बिकम स्किल्ड एंड हैव एन अशोर्ट जॉब वी कैन डू वंडर्स गोइंग फॉरवर्ड and in conclusion i just want to urge you that by coincidence there is a very interesting statistic i was just told by ahmed bhai that you have 22000 direct employees and today you have announced 21000 scholarships maybe you should make it 22000 <laughs> and and make it a rule that you will continue as you grow as your profits grow as many people who are working with you that many girl children you will adopt and help them through the life to become a self independent citizen of india contributing to the india story and maybe for my friends from gj apc we can think of some such collective action very often you are all doing lot of good work undoubtedly each one of you must be doing lot of work individually but there is a great power in coming together and running a program at scale and your industry you often tell me engages 1 crore people 1 crore 25 lakh people i don't know i hear different figures in different meetings imagine if the whole industry comes together and decides that as many employees that many girl children we will adopt and help to stand on their own feet to become skilled and independent what a transformation and what a satisfaction your industry will get and how we can transform the future of india with your leadership thank you very much friends for your patient hearing and let us all work together to make viksit bharat 2047 developed nation by 2047 a reality where every young child every girl child shines like a star thank you very much